When we go through challenges, it's easy to live worried and stressed. We wonder when it's going to change and when is God going to do something, when in fact, God is doing something. He's keeping the sickness from taking us out. He's holding back the opposition. He's not letting the addiction defeat us. We don't realize it, but we're in the middle of a miracle. God is in the process of bringing us out. Fervent, prioritized prayer. Y'all, you can't have victory if you don't pray. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Prayer is the key that unlocks the resources of heaven so that they can be unleashed on planet Earth. Prayer is the key he's actually given you to get all the good stuff down here. You need to get yourself some material and get alone with God and say, whatever I don't have that I can have, I want it. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Give me the gifts that I need to live this stupid life that's going on today with victory and power. Especially at a time in the world when the whole world is going crazy and every time you turn on the news, you see something that makes you want to throw up. God says, I want to insulate you. The Bible says the ark was pitched within and without in such a way that Noah and his family were secure. Without his favor, we would be overcome. Without his protection, we would be defeated. One day we'll look back and say, look what the Lord has done. Look at how God sustained me in that tough time. Look at how he healed me from that disease. I came here to tell you that as long as you're still breathing in this air, that there's still a wilderness somewhere with your name on it. And when you get desperate to find your wilderness, that God is gonna to begin to open up doors that no man can shut. And he's gonna close doors that no man can open. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna to wait to get to heaven to experience all that God has for me. Any bits of heaven he plans to give me on earth, I want it right now. Prayer accesses the bits of heaven he intends to give you now. And prayer, listen, prayer is what pushes the kingdom of darkness back. Right now, God is working behind the scenes, making things happen that you can't see. If it wasn't for his goodness, his favor, his mercy, you wouldn't be able to withstand what's trying to stop. I think he wants you to understand that he has a way of designing a safe place so secure that no matter how turbulent things are outside, you can have peace inside. God said in Isaiah, when you go through the waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned lights and fog machines and great singing and great preaching that won't necessarily push the kingdom of darkness back but when my people who are called by my name when they will humble themselves and when they'll pray he says that I'm gonna hear from heaven I'm gonna heal the land the enemy will have to bend the knee at the name of Jesus in prayer I want to talk to you today about inviting God in to your difficulties most of the time we're praying God, get me out of this challenge. Get me out of this trouble at work. Get me out of this financial setback. And there's nothing wrong with that. But before you get out, you have to invite God in. It's to make sure you know that even if you've been rejected by everybody else, mother and father, sister or brother, best friend or spouse has walked away from you, that you have been hand-picked, hand-selected, adopted by the Most High King. Miracle is not in getting out. It's in what God is going to do in the situation. Instead of just praying, God, get me out. Why don't you start praying, God, come in to this hospital room while I take the treatment. Come in to this trouble at work where the people aren't fair. Come in to this anxiety that I'm dealing with. Summer doesn't stay. Winter never stays. Autumn never stays. Spring never stays. And God says to everything, there's a season. God is waiting to come in. When you ask him in, you're saying, God, don't just change the circumstances, change me. Help me to not just go through this situation. Help me to grow through it. Help me to learn. Increase my faith. Let my character come up higher.
Listen, don't close your bank account out. Leave some money to keep it open. Why? The season coming. A lot of money is on the way. Keep the account open. Don't shut it down. It's only a season. 